Watch closely, this is how to understand and solve welding distortion. Whether you're learning TIG, MIG, or stick welding, understanding distortion is crucial. Initially, we practice flat welding by butt joining steel plates. This may also be when we first learn about welding distortion. Welding distortion can be encountered in almost any scenario, such as square tube, angle iron, and channel steel welding. Thus, its importance is obvious. Want to solve welding distortion? You must first understand its basic principles. We are welding with steel plates here. Let's start with an example. Make a right angle with two steel plates. And spot weld to secure. We'll see this in a full weld demonstration. How does it deform? Set the welder current to 100 first. Proceed with welding. This is how it looks after welding. You can see welding under low current. The steel plate still bends to the right during welding. Using a laser welder or cold welder would be better. Welding with any equipment. The longer the welding time, the higher the temperature and the greater the deformation. This time, we set the current to 200. Weld once more. You can see it deforming more. Let's set the current to 300 and see. Higher welding temperatures lead to more deformation. Weld at the same angle. Some people will deform a lot. Some people will deform a little. This is due to inaccurate control of the heat input temperature. With a lower heat input temperature, deformation will also decrease. Let me explain more clearly why deformation occurs towards the weld side. We will first weld the steel plates flat and then demonstrate again. First, we will make a tack weld for positioning. This is to better visualize the changes. We have left a gap between the two plates. If deformation occurs during welding, the angle of this face will differ. As you can see, there was a gap, and not much deformation occurred during welding. Both sides will shrink towards the welding direction. And as both sides shrink, the flat part is somewhat minimal, so what changes will occur once this weld is finished? We can see. Not much change occurred. Closer inspection reveals some deformation. As the welding area increases, heat input will also increase. So it will shrink upwards. It's more accurate to say it shrinks than deforms. Let me sketch a simple diagram to explain. Assuming the iron plate's molecular structure is like this. The circles maintain a regular spacing. Heating it will widen the gaps between circles. This can also be understood as thermal expansion. When heated, it bends to one side. As it cools, the raised side will drop. The incoming heat makes it wider. Then it narrows again as it cools. The welded area shrinks. The shrinkage decreases again after cooling. When welding according to this principle, it shrinks towards the welded side. This causes distortion, and shrinkage reduces significantly post-cooling. Understanding this principle, you can prevent deformation and create effective solutions. Methods are not always the right answers. It's one method applicable in this case. This video ends here. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like, follow, and save. Thank you for watching.